Here's the second and final part of putting it in the well. As you can see here at the outside, I've got a drain plug in case I need to drop the water level before winter comes. I ended up going from galvanized to PVC just out of convenience and cheaper parts. If it freezes, it's a lot cheaper to replace. Runs directly into the honey room through the barn. And here you can see an inch and a quarter of PVC. Just click hole right through the wall, direct entry. Run it over to this little utility sink. I ran the sink off the wall a few feet, mainly because I didn't want to move the countertop that I had in there. It just to get it farther from the wall. <laughs> This is a little pump I bought. I believe it was around $350. Comes with its own jet pump and pressurized tank. The line going in is inch and a quarter. Coming out towards the bottom there, you can see it's a one inch exit. And I like to fit everything together just to make sure I've got the right parts. I probably traveled to the utility store at least two or three times during the week when I was at work just to pick up parts um, that I either forgot I needed or missed. Um, so here again is one inch exit. I put in an on off valve for the winter time and just generally not using the room in case something was wrong with the sink. Um, next I added a bibcock so I could drain the lines and dropped it down to half inch so I could hook up the water lines to the water heater and the utility sink. So later on I end up sealing all these up but for now again this is just to temporarily make sure they all fit.
Here's a preview of the setup. This is a 7 kilowatt water heater, point of use, tankless. Uh, it takes a 10 to 220 or 30 amp to run it. So here I just ran some wire outside my building. I know it's not the code, but we don't have codes where I live, and this is safe enough for me. Just run it right into your box. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. If you don't know how to hook up these boxes, you probably shouldn't do it. Um, here's the final setup. And here I'm priming the pump. Uh, I've actually primed it uh, the day before. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't hold a prime, which means I've got a seal issue somewhere in the line. Um, most likely, it's outside in the well pipe from jackhammering down. But it only takes a couple minutes. Just make sure you keep a little bit of water up there. Uh, the tank, once it's got water, you can get water. And you need to leave the cap loose so the air can come out of the line. I'm going to skip ahead pretty quick here, but you can see when you do draw it right there it just happened you gotta be quick shut it down um, so you don't soak your room there you can see it's holding pressure and here is the final setup I just put in a little drain here um, again, this is a utility room for just me uh, cleaning out or doing honey. So nothing here is going to be perfect and everything's accessible. I don't want anything hidden. So here I'm just demoing how this works. You just turn this knob on low, medium, high. When you turn the water on, it must have a check valve inside because that's when it activates it. Uh, so even if it's on all the time, it will not be using electricity. Uh, but when you turn on there, you can see the lights pop on and I tried testing the water, it actually gets warmer than what I'd wash my hands with comfortably or shower with, so definitely for 7 kilowatts works great. Probably cost a dollar, dollar fifty an hour if you ran it straight. Uh, but this is the setup.